Okay, I'm going to show you this part on my other soap. So I just wanted to show you on this one. So now this is still like slightly warm to the touch around the sides and the bottom. But just a gentle touch. And out it comes. Yay! Now, for some reason, this recipe always looks very oily. And it's done. I think I need that a little bit. Maybe too much of super fine time, maybe. I don't know. But, as you can see, like, it's very pliable. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to cut it. I hope you can see this. I'm just going to check. Yeah. that is relatively easy compared to most hot process. So if you wait too long, it cracks right around the edges. See how it bumps. Very smooth. It's still very warm in the middle. It's even like you can still see it a different color. <laughs> I won't stamp these yet. I'll let them cool down a little bit more before I stamp them. But there you go. This is red palm butter soap or red palm oil soap with honey. Although you can't smell the honey very well. And the red palm oil, just FYI, is very smelly. <laughs> and it's not necessarily a good smell. Anyway, so I'll show you when they cool down a little bit more. I'll show you the stamping. Okay, thank you. Okay, so as you can see, they're not... They've cooled down quite a bit more. It's been probably about an hour. And they're no longer, like, warm to the touch anymore. So I'm going to stamp them. I did this one already. It's a little flower. I mean, you can barely see it in this particular soap. But I just wanted to show it to you, so I'm going to do <laughs> I'm going to do the other two. So, yeah, you can see that. Okay, so I just have um, these stamps here. You just kind of stick them onto an acrylic base. And I have this one, too. This one's my favorite. I use this one on my shea soap and my avocado soap. For this one, I think I'll do the stamp here. Just a little flower. And then I press it down hard, but not too hard so that you see the square. And then lift it back up. There. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So it's just like a little flower image on the soap. And then you can do the other one. On the other side I have a little flower with some leaves on it. So I'm going to do that one on this piece. Again, just press down really hard. see that. <laughs> that one doesn't seem to work as well. Anyway, so I think they're pretty that way. And I use my leftovers and I need a little heart soap. My daughter likes these. <laughs> she likes it when I make little hearts. And uh, I also wanted to show you, I have some pH tester strips. And I like to test my soap. And this is right after I made it. So, after 
after it cures for a little bit, it will be even milder, but I like to test it anyway. These are little pH strips, or just the um, paper ones, and then it comes with this range of pH readings, and you put it in the water on your soap. Okay, and then wait for 30 seconds. Can you see that? Hmm. I can't really see that very well on the camera, but it's about an eight. Anyway, yeah, see, it's about an eight on the pH range, and anything from seven to ten is good. Um, seven would be better, but eight is pretty mild very mild on the pH test range. And so that, and that is my red palm letter soap. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, thanks for watching.